Hi there, here we have it. A multiplayer game made using C Sharp, the mono game framework, and um, networking using TCP sockets. First of all, we start the server process, followed by two players on different processes. This is how the start menu looks like. Now we start the game. Uh, this is a drawing game, and if I draw on this window, the other window gets updated. Not quite in real time because you can't send too much data. And you can uh, hold left click to color in black, or you can hold right click to erase some of the color. And on the side of the guessing player, you can um, you can try to guess the word, and if you guess correctly. A message is, display is displayed to both uh, players. It might seem like a very simple game, but there is a lot of stuff going on behind. So I'm gonna go sh and show you some of the code. Firstly, I created the class library named Networking Commons, uh, which the server and players will use. A uh, communication between the two processes will be done through TCP sockets, as I mentioned, using Remote Procedure Call Protocol, or RPC for short. The most important parts of RPC are requests and uh, responses. You can see that each of them have a type and uh, some data they carry. Uh, now the next essential part is the service proxy. Each player has a service proxy to be able to communicate to to the server. So each player creates a service proxy for himself. And similarly, uh, on the client side, we have a client worker for every every client. Uh, the server creates one worker for every client, just, just as I said. So all the communication basically happens between the proxy and the worker, all the TCP socket stuff happens between those two. So let's take for example some start game requests. Um, whenever a client wants to start a new game, it asks the proxy to send a request to the server, the proxy creates a request, sends it through the socket, and it is received on the other side by the client worker. And here we have uh, judging by type, the client worker uh, calls the appropriate server function and returns the response uh, back to the proxy to uh, either say if the request was handled properly, if uh, an error occurred, or maybe it sends back some data. Next up, I created another project for the server and it, it just handles some of the logic on how the game runs. Uh, nothing complicated really, a list of the possible guest words, some of the clients, and nothing too crazy. Here you can see how the server is started, it has a port and IP, it reads them from this config file and also has some default values in case it doesn't work and then uh, it uh, starts itself. And lastly, a mono game project. Uh, for the player. This is the standard game class that comes with uh, every mono game project. Uh, I didn't add too much here. It has a current uh, currency, a current scene. Uh, we have a start menu scene as I showed in the demo. A drawing scene and a guessing scene which uh, uh, are the different uh, states the game i is in. These scenes have some functions that are lo a lot similar to this game class, like update and draw. And also each of the scenes has a control object, so it doesn't handle functions, re uh, functions related to net networking directly. Uh, for example, in the start menu scene, we also have a draw function that draws... Uh, this is basically the buttons, it just draws some rectangles and text. And also an update, uh, an update function that uh, checks if uh, any of the buttons was clicked and handles the 
corresponding logic uh, these uh, functions get called every fra frame here in the game menu uh, it uh, calls the functions of the current scene now I won't get too much into details uh, into the details of mono game because there isn't any advanced stuff to go over but for the drawing board part it behaves similarly to a a matrix of pixels that change color with each click so I had to do some logic for each pixel and honestly that's about it for this project this was my first project using Monogame uh, I mostly experienced using the SFML framework for C++ I have uh, some other videos on my channel mostly about SFML uh, there were a lot of differ differences between uh, these, these frameworks Monogame had some uh, good points but also some bad points and there are some uh, problems that I uh, don't know how to fix yet so I'm not really uh, fully content with how the game turned out uh, and also you could you, you can see me run the two players on the same PC unfortunately I had some problems running a player on or running the players on different uh, PCs on my local network I think it's mostly problems caused by firewall and router settings even though I didn't get to test it I think it should it should be able to work the, on different PCs on different networks uh, it just need a server running and that's about it if you want to see something else let me know and thank you for watching